Good morning, everybody. We've got a fun little day planned. It's finally cool in Charlotte. It's been freaking hot lately, um, but it's overcast today. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so came out to record a couple of videos. Um, we are out at the scrapyard in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm going to be messing around with a lot of new discs, so pretty excited about it. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I've got the entire queen box from Westside. So we've got the Maiden. If you guys haven't seen my video going through all these, um, it's on my channel. Really, really cool stuff. Super excited for these discs. We got a Moonshine Maiden, which we'll be putting with today. We've got a Ice Longbowman, which is gonna be overstable. So it's gonna be like my felon in the bag. Um, we've got this TP, I think, Orbit Queen, which is gonna be an understable kind of bomber. Um, we've got an Underworld, which is going to be pretty rad. I'm excited to throw this one. Um, and then I've got a Bard, which is going to be a more um, stable mid-range. So we're going to have fun messing around with these. Um, comment down below if y'all bag any of these and what type of shots you use them for, but I'm pretty excited. Let's get into it. All right, so I've not thrown any of these discs yet. So I'm not too sure how they fly, but that's what we're doing today. Longbowman, sidearm. Let's see if we can park this. I'm going to throw it kind of like it's a felon. So release it flat down the middle and let it get stable. Oh yeah, it's stable all right. Now the underworld is a negative three one, <clears throat> but all my underworlds that I have do not fly like negative three ones. So I'm gonna throw this on a turnover and I just want you guys to see that it's not really gonna fly like a negative three one. I'm gonna throw it on some Annie and it'll probably come back. Yeah, see that stabling up already just halfway down? That's not like a negative three one. All right, so we, it, that definitely flew super stable and I didn't hit it, right? <clears throat> so outside the circle here, first real putt in a, in a while. I haven't gone out and played on a course since the CAC. Um, so see if we can uh, get this maiden in here. Yes! What a huge putt to start off with. Come on, dude. That was well outside the circle. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, maybe not well, that was probably about 40 feet. That's a sick way to start, though. All right, so hole two here. <clears throat> I told you guys, this, this underworld does not fly like a zero three. If I throw this out on a little bit of hyzer, it'll flip up, maybe turn a little right, and then should end down by the basket. We might throw two here because I kind of want to see how this queen flies as well. See, look at that. That didn't flip up at all, y'all. <clears throat> so while it is a negative three, especially this domey one, doesn't fly like it. Um, all right, I want to see how this queen is going to fly. Whoa. Man, that thing took off. Y'all probably couldn't even see it. That gray color is hard to see in the sky. Now, obviously, as this disc beats in, it might, or it will become more understable. But just out the bag, being a negative 3-1, it doesn't really fly like one. Which is also kind of weird because a lot of times West Side stuff flies more understable um, out of the box than you would think. So the Underworld is an interesting one. All right, let's see, let's see if we can get this a little bit of a bid. A little bit of a bid. So if I'd thrown this flat, I think it would have been perfect. Ugh. One down. <clears throat> okay, so I might throw a couple on this one. I don't really like this hole, or at least I don't like throwing straight down it. I like flexing stuff. Now the bar is a zero three, so it should be fairly stable. So I feel like I can give it a little bit of angle and we'll see if we can Get down there to a good spot. Never thrown this disc. Oh yeah, it is stable. I hit my arm on the way back there, so I wasn't able to get it to fly exactly like I wanted it to. I'm gonna try throwing the Maiden, and then I'm gonna throw the Longbowman backhand too. Come on. 
Come on. Man, that thing flew really straight. I like that. Go in the basket. Ooh. All right, so definitely outside the circle here. Let's get a little bit of step putt action going. Been working a lot on my step putt, really nice and just gradual. I think the long bowman is over here somewhere too. All right, give us this bird. Let's take the bird home, huh? Oh, a little bit more power, that would have been it. So the long bowman actually kind of was a run. Landed right there. Not too bad, y'all. I really like the way this ice plastic feels too. Like it's a little, it's a little bendy. Oh, this thing might make my bag, man. Okay, so just for the sake, just for the sake of throwing fun shots with new discs, because that's when we learn. We learn when we mess around. Okay, you don't always have to do the same thing, especially not in casual rounds. I'm gonna try and smash this queen on a sidearm and see if we can give us an eagle look. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this thing very hard. This is a 430 foot hole, see if we can flex this down to 380 or something. I've never thrown this disc on a sidearm, so this is gonna be super fun for us. I don't wanna turn it over too much because of how hard I'm gonna be throwing it. So it hit that branch, but it still pushed down there, which is sick. I'm also going to throw the Maiden on a hyzer because it pushed pretty straight on that last shot for me. Ah. Yeah, so that was inside. Okay. All right, so the queen stayed in the middle. If we hadn't hit that branch, we probably would have had like a maybe 70 foot look or something. So, throwing the maiden here and try and get it down there to a good spot. Oh yeah, that's a putt. That's a really good shot right there. Yeah, so the maiden. Uh, pushes pretty straight for me, y'all, which I appreciate. Um, that's a good birdie right there. That's a good birdie right there. I like this disc, and I haven't thrown my keystones much because they always turn over for me. I'll be excited to see if, if this makes my bag to throw. All right, so 284 uphill, probably plays close to 300. Gonna take the maiden again. See if I can squeeze it. Maybe in between the two trees or just to the left of them, but pushing straight. Yeah, look at that flight, y'all. That's short, but I really like that. Let's throw the underworld on a little bit of an Anheuser here. Stable up. Okay, that's actually a backdoor putt. All right, so I feel like I'm probably circle's edge here. Um, but I'll just give this a normal putt. I won't step putt it or anything. Should have step putted it. Would have made it. Okay, so <clears throat> because the Maiden has been holding the lines that I've thrown it on, I'm gonna throw it out here on an Anheuser. I think this is probably the best choice for this hole. <clears throat> Just hold the angle the whole way, bud. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Came out at the last second, but I might still have a putt. 
Okay, so this was not as understable as I had hoped it would be, but we've been making putts like this, so let's, let's give it a bid. Let's give it a nice bid. Get it there, okay? Let's not come up short on this one. Table up, right into it. Oh! <laughs> Oh man, I needed like six inches and that was perfect. So obviously, still learning these discs. My keystones are a little bit more understable. So they would have pushed, I aimed there based off of my keystone, which is a little more understable of a flight. So it would have pushed straight a little bit more than probably been online. So I need to aim, I need to either give this a little more ante or a little more power or aim a little bit more right. Okay, so the short pad here isn't too bad. It's still 665 feet. Gonna throw the long bowman on a hyzer um, down the left side and try and have it come in early and get a, get a good skip and a good position for me. Oh, that looks like it got a good skip. Okay, so this feels like a great opportunity for an eagle. This is a really good place to land. The run up is a little bit sketchy because there's a stump here, but if I hit it right, I'm gonna throw this queen on a hyzer. I'm gonna pump it. I'm gonna let it stand up, push straight, See if we can get it to stable up down by the basket and give us an eagle look. Again, I've only thrown this disc maybe twice. That sidearm and that backhand. So let's see if I've learned it yet and we can smash this down there. Okay, so that's way down there. I missed my line. Not an excuse, genuinely because of the, this stump here. I had a run up weird, but I really like the way that that flew. I am digging that disc, man. I am digging that disc. Heck yeah, guys, we made it all the way down here to this fence. If I hadn't missed my line by like five feet left, we would have been up there, dude. This is sick. I really wanna try and go for this with a little Annie putt with the Maiden because either way, we should end up close. Wow. This thing cooks, man. I wanna get out to a, a field. Y'all, the field that I used to play at is gone now. They're building a highway over it. <laughs> so annoying. All right, let's see if we can get this maiden in there for an eagle. Oh, dude, <laughs> that looked like it was online. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I really like this Maiden. I really like the Maiden. Let's see if we can ace with it on this next hole. All right, Maiden, I have tried acing this hole so many times. Can we please just go in right now? Please? Let's just go in right now, okay? Come on, let's do this. Let's do this thing together. Oh, it's flying good. Oh, the wind dropped it. That felt really good out of my hand. I'm gonna throw the bard too. Do it. Oh man. Man y'all, that little drop almost made us come up uh, short into OB, but whew, it didn't. Thankfully, the bard was on a, on a line too. So I don't really like the short hole on this, or the short tee on this hole. So we're gonna throw the long bowman here from the long tee. There is a little bit of wind out there. I just don't want this to come up short. So we're gonna get it there. Dive into the basket. Way over, okay. 
All right, so I have to throw this maiden on a little sidearm, which I've never done, but we'll see how it works. Just give me a putt. Okay. So that's the first time that I threw the maiden on a sidearm, so I don't really know how it flies. I like how it putts, though. All right, so that's the front nine. Throwing all the stuff from the queen box. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, four down right now. It's pretty, pretty okay, especially throwing a whole bunch of new discs. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out and watching. Heading over to hole 10 now to keep the journey going. See you guys over there.